Hi, my name is Mary Perry and welcome to the Wellness Zone podcast. So Dr. Sears, today we're going to talk about zombie cells. Um, people might think we're in Game of Thrones right now by oh. talking about zombie cells, but uh, let's talk a bit about what they are, uh, what the implication is for our overall health and what the benefit is to trying to control what they are in the body. So first off, can you just walk us through what zombie cells are? Well, the uh, initial name was called senescent cells. Senescent means aging cells. But the scientific term is zombie cells. You say, what? I don't get that. Well, it turns out zombie cells are the reasons we age. And what happens as we age, our cells get uh, really distorted. They basically become transformed like cancer cells. And what the body has is a unique mechanism to stop cancer. It turns cancer cells into zombie cells. And hopefully the immune system will now attack the zombie cells and clear them out and cancer is long gone. But as you age, your immune system becomes weaker and weaker. It becomes less active in terms of getting rid of these zombie cells, which is naturally a protective aspect. And what happens as these zombie cells begin to increase and basically encourage other cells nearby or in other organs to also become zombie cells, the levels of inflammation start increasing in every organ in your body. And now we know it's the increasing levels of these zombie cells that drive the aging process. So if you're looking for the elixir of youth, <laughs> kill the zombies. So so essentially, Dr. Sears, what you're saying is as we age, we just lose our ability to clear these uh, senescent cells from the body. And that's they accumulate. And with that accumulation comes additional inflammation in the body. Is that correct? That's correct. And it's that additional inflammation that accelerates the aging process. And how exactly do we make our bodies more efficient at clearing these senescent cells with age? Well, it turns out we come back to our old friend, Mr. AMPK. As the master regulator of metabolism and the master regulator of the immune response, if we have active levels of AMPK, it's doing its job, basically maintaining a strong immune system that's constantly surveilling throughout the body for zombie cells and then eliminating them which is step one, and then two, replacing them. Now, it doesn't, doesn't do you much good to eliminate the zombie cells unless you're replacing them with new healthy cells. Think of a brick wall. I take the, brick, the damaged bricks out of the wall and don't replace them. Eventually, what's going to happen? The wall is going to fall down. So again, the, the whole process of the aging process is one, surveillance, destruction, and repair. And the, the one entity in each of our 30 trillion cells that does that is AMPK. And it's AMPK is really a secret to aging better and aging longer. Okay. So now we know AMPK is a secret, but how do we actually activate it? Well, the old standby way always works and always will is called the diet. Mm -hmm. And not just diet, but a calorie restricted diet. It's a calorie restricted diet that basically activates AMPK. And then all of a sudden you're thinking, oh my God, is it worth being hungry and fatigued the rest of my life to live longer? Most people say no. But the answer is the secret of calorie restriction is never to be hungry and never be fatigued. And that's the reason why I developed the Zone Diet more than 30 years ago, to basically develop a dietary program that could restrict calories without hunger, without fatigue, to maximize activity of AMPK, which is a secret to living a longer and better life. Now, I know diet is, is you know, the huge piece here, but you've also talked about how certain exercise can also help to activate AMPK. Can you talk about that a bit too? Oh, I'll also include stress reduction. These are called lifestyle interventions, but they're not all equal. I use the 80-15-5 rule. 80% of your ability to activate AMPK will come from the diet, 15% from exercise, 5% from stress reduction. So you can see taking all the yoga classes you want are not going to overcome a bad diet. So again, uh, each of those is useful, but basically never basically let the uh, tail wag the dog. It's the diet. It's the primary controller of the body's ability to remove these zombie cells and allow you to live longer and live better.
So going back to the to where we started here on senescence, uh, so is the best way to measure whether you've done a good job with cellular senescence to look at these blood markers that keep you in the zone? Well, the, the th trouble with senescence is basically you have to take out tissue to find out the senescent cells. They, 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 it doesn't take very many senescent cells to make your life miserable. Maybe two or three percent of the cells in an organ is enough to basically start aging faster. So... Are we going to do t uh, tissue biopsies in oh, yeah. the brain, the heart? No, of course not. So is there any surrogate marker, surrogate marker that indicates we're activating AMPK? There is one. It's called HOMA IR. This is a marker of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance indicates that your metabolism is not working very well. It means you're aging faster. So by looking at the simple marker, which is a simple blood marker, it's been around since 1985, we can tell our progress. If insulin resistance is going down, you're aging slower. If insulin resistance is going up, you're aging faster. Now, what people have high levels of insulin resistance? Those who have excess body fat and those who have diabetes. Oh, also those who have heart disease liver disease, kidney disease, should I go on? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> because this is the marker that your, every organ in your body is aging at a faster rate. So you really want to put together a dietary program and monitor it by saying, yes, I'm losing weight, but I'm not losing a muscle mass. But more importantly, is my levels of insulin resistance going down? And so we usher in a whole new era of medicine, not finding drugs that treat the symptoms of chronic disease, because chronic disease is caused by the aging process. Our metabolism starts slowing down, and that gives the zombie cells a chance to keep on growing. So here we have the, you know, do we have to basically uh, buy drugs? No, but we have to eat. So you might as well eat smart. And if you want to eat smart, the bottom line is you'll live longer, you'll live better. And who doesn't want that? Well, thanks so much, Dr. Sears, for enlightening us on uh, cellular senescence and anti-aging and all that it's within the power of us to be able to do this with our diet. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. For more on this subject and many other topics on the science of wellness, go to drsears.com.